So here you can see that we have a puppet in a project and now what we're going to do is we're going to take a snapshot and see the snapshot options inside of Adobe Character Animator. So here you can see that our character is placed out in a particular way right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into scene and we're going to click on take snapshot. Once we do that, what happens is that it takes in snapshot of this particular character. So if I were to go over here and let's say, for example, select the ninja character. And if I were to go over here and zoom this in, so I'm just going to go around over here and zoom the character by going into the transform options. And I'm just going to scroll this out. You can see that something happens. So snapshot is being enabled. So even if I zoom in, you can see that I got the new state and I got the snapshot state. So I know like what are the changes that are happening. So I can just go around and change the position as well as you can see. So I can change around the position. I can go around into the scene and I can hide the snapshot so that I do not see the snapshot uh, at all. I can go over here and click on show snapshot so that we can see the previous state and the new state simultaneously. So if you want to, let's say, for example, uh, take the previous snapshot as a reference, then this is quite handy. You can increase the snapshot opacity right here or decrease the snapshot opacity. And I can see that there are shortcuts for that as well. Control Alt plus and minus. So I'm just going to go around Control Alt plus. You can see that. So control uh, plus equals and control plus minus, as you can see, and it changes the opacity of the snapshot right there. You can also press F6 and that enables and disables the snapshot. If you want to take a new snapshot, then you can take a new snapshot. The shortcut is shift F6. So once you do that, what happens is that the new snapshot is taken. So now what is happening is that it seems as if uh, that the, there's no snapshot at, at all. But if I were to move this around, you can see that you see the previous state and the new state together. And that is how uh, snapshots work like inside of Adobe Character Animator. And that's how you work around with the snapshot options. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.